Hey guys, what's up? It's Melanie. Welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd pop on here and do a quick live for you guys because um, somebody asked me to do more transfer videos. They said, Melanie, can you do more transfer stuff? And so I said, well, yeah, I'll try to work that in. So I'm going to try to wait for you guys to pop up over here on this little um, other contraption so I can look and see your comments because um, you're just too far away. So how's it going? Hi. Huh. Again, I can't see. <laughs> I can see somebody's there, but I can't see who you are. So let's um, wait. Come on. Oh, shoot. Poor Alexa. I just dumped her on her butt. She was holding up my stuff. Okay, there we are. Let's go there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and the volume's not down. Okay. Oh, and the volume's you know what? Down. Somebody told me the other day. You know what? Somebody told me the other day. You know a super kind lady was like, "You are not organized enough. If you're gonna do live videos, you better get your act together." So, you know, whoever you were, I'm trying. I'm trying. All right. I don't know how many live videos she's done, but I'm just gonna assume not a lot. So here we go. All right, what are we doing? We are going to paint. So here I have a galvanized can. It's just a, um, a floral can, right? And we are going to dip in. I'm gonna use my Klingon S50, which we do sell. This is my favorite brush. If you guys watch my videos at all, you'll know that I absolutely love this brush. It's um, the best one for getting a super smooth finish. So. I'm just going to dip in right here, and now the comments are not coming up over here, which is unfortunate. Why are they on the side? Hi. Okay. Hi there. Hi from Virginia. Hi. Okay. All right. We're good. So let's just go ahead and give this guy a coat of apothecary. So I'm just going to start. You'll see that um, this brush is... It, this is just an awesome brush. It's just gonna give me like a super smooth finish and I don't have to mess around with brush strokes, which is, brush strokes are great for certain things that you do, but sometimes you just wanna get it done and you want it to be super nice. So this is going to be the go-to brush for that. Um, honestly, any of the Klingon brushes that I sell are gonna be the ones that uh, are gonna get you this rock and smooth finish. Um, depending on the color that you use with DIY, you're going to get a one coat coverage. And they all are so pigmented, but some of them vary like in their variations. But you can see that this guy, this apothecary, this brush are going to rock it out of the park. So let's do that. Get that done. So how are you? Aw, uh, I am thank you, thankful that you caught me live. Thank you, thanks. Thank you, thank you. I um, I was so sad today. My, I don't know if you guys follow my Facebook page, but over there it's Windmill Vintage Designs, and um, um, same name as my website. But I posted a live video because my daughter has a baby goat that she's um, bottle feeding. So she came over to visit with her sister. So I had both my girls here. Well, two of my three. My other one's in Japan. But um, So they were here, and Miranda was getting ready to leave to go back to her dad's because where she lives over there, you know, is, is goat friendly. It's not really goat friendly here. But um, the little boy next door, I could hear him out in his front yard. All right. Let me stop with my story real quick. So I seriously just painted that, that smooth with the Klingon brush and apothecary um, DIY paint. Like, that's ridiculous. That's one coat coverage and it is like brush stroke free. So, yeah. People go, oh my God, why would I pay $42 for a Klingon brush? And I'm like, well, for one, because this is why. And for two, because you'll never have to replace it. You don't lose bristles. It's like the, it's like the rock star of all brushes. So, 
All right, let's put that one there. Let me get back to my story. So um, I heard Dylan. Dylan is his name. And I heard him out front with his parents. And I was like, I'm going to go show him the baby goat, right? So I went over there, and they were breaking a pinata. It's his birthday. And there's no one there. They can't have a birthday party for him. He's turning five. It just, it was just very sad. Um, I showed him the baby goat, but there's still like social distancing and you know, it's kind of like awkward. You're like, do you want to touch it? Well, but you've been kissing on it all day. And I'm like, hi, I have been kissing on it all day. <laughs> so I get why you wouldn't want to touch it. So it's just a weird time. I believe that they're going to have a Zoom um, birthday party for him here in a little bit, um, where his family members can all kind of talk to him, you know, but he's five. How long are they going to keep his attention? Probably not very long. So anyway, it's just, it's a weird time, right? Um, hi from Australia. Hi, Mandy. Um, thank you guys. Thank just, ah, uh, yeah, they're addictive, right? Okay, so let's move on. Enough about my, um, my story about this whole situation we're in. We're going to take this guy, and what I'm going to do with my Klingons, um, I'm just going to dunk it. So if you go and you rinse it out really good, but you take your brush like this. So this is what makes Klingon a little bit different also, in addition to all the cool stuff that it does. Um, this water is dirty, so we're not going to be able to see so well, but they're self-cleaning brushes. So if you just chill it like this, all the paint that is up in here will soak down in. So it's a self-cleaning brush. It's super cool, and they really like to be stored wet, which is good for someone like me because I don't clean my brushes until all of them are dirty, <laughs> like every one of them. So I just put them in a bucket. And then they never rust around here, never. You don't ever have your handle fall off or rust form right here. Even if it's dunked like all the way in, which mine are most of the time. So I'm just gonna put this dude over here and help him clean. So that's my Klingon spill. Um, I really only talk a lot about things that I absolutely love and that's one of the brushes that I absolutely love. So um, yeah, all right, so. This is a cheap brush, which I'm losing bristles on all the time. Um, but, you know, you, <laughs> if you're like me, <laughs> you don't clean your brushes very often. Then you end up pulling out every brush in the world. So let's just put that one aside. All right, so this one is, hi, Pam, Patty, Patty, Patsy, no, Patty, hi. <laughs> okay, this one is Gravel Road. I painted Gravel Road on there. This one, it, Gravel Road's a different color. It took me two coats to get this um, completely good. And then I put a coat of Big Top on it, okay? So let's take, thought we'd use this transfer. So this one is called, it's hard for me to pronounce. It's called Label, Label Eparemia. Is that correct? I'm not really sure. Label Eparemia. Let's just go with that. It's a bunch of labels, like a bunch of vintage um, labels. We'll take this guy, put him over here so he can dry over there. So when you get a transfer, they come in these big, big tubes like this. Yeah, but how do you say that? Eparemial. Okay, good. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, they come in this big tube like this. And then what you do is you pull it out and then there's this stick in there, which this is your applique stick, which comes in every transfer that you have and save your stick because you can use it. If you're anything like me, you will probably lose a lot of sticks and stuff. So um, you want to keep the backing on it. So this, this white paper, keep that on there because if you get rid of that, you're going to mess stuff up for reals. This one has so many different scripts and signs and I mean, everything like this is one, this is one, this is one, this is one, this is one. I mean, I don't know, there's like 50 on here or something, but let's go ahead and make this simple. So what we're gonna do 
Ah, I don't want to lose it. Well, I'm just going to take our scissors and let's cut out this one. And I'm actually going to, so as you can see, I'm just like curving around because I can save this one over here for something else. Let me go up this way. Let's get these lions. Go back down. Then we'll go this way. Let's go up this way. All right, let's put that right there. So we're gonna use that. So this guy, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna roll it back up because all of these are usable again. I mean, I, I can do, I don't know, 20 of these, you know, with these guys if I so chose to do, or I could do something else. But we're just gonna take that like that, put it back in our tube. And now I just can save this for later, right? Right, okay. Now let me see. I do need an assistant to help me with chats. I'm so sorry, guys. Thank you. <laughs> um, thank you for understanding. Hi. Oh, it means old paper. Is that what it means? Huh. I, I could have Googled that, I guess. But thank you. Thank you so much. I know, it's too bad my husband wasn't just chilling watching the news, the devastation of the world in there, but that's what he's doing. All right, so if we take this guy and we just kind of get it positioned again, I just have that backing on there still um, to see where I want it. Now, ideally, ideally, you would have some painter's tape, but I don't have any painter's tape. Well, I do, but I, I can't find it in this disaster that I call a garage. So I'm gonna use, um, this is medical tape. It's for, you know, if you had um, like a piece of gauze that you needed to hook to a wound, whatever. We're going to use that. So I'm going to get a few pieces of that out. <laughs> get that. No. Hi, Maggie. Thank you guys for coming. And I do apologize for not having an assistant. So I want to put this towards me for now because I want to try to get this on here straight. And um, if I face it towards you, I'll forget it. I'll never get it on there straight. Okay, so it just kind of like, it almost like sucks itself down. So I have it on there. How appropriate. <laughs> oh, girl, I wing it all the time. <laughs> what are we going to do? Um, no, I was kind of hurt, though. The other day, the girl's like, your your live video was so unorganized, I couldn't even watch. And I was like, well, I am sorry. I don't know what to say. Real life happens. I totally got that on there crooked. Look. It's, it's whatever. We're just going with it. Because it's already down, so it, it, you really can't pull it back up. So, oops. We'll put big, uh, we'll put big droopy hours in there. That way you'll never, never know. You guys do yours straight because you're not live and you don't, you're not rushing, right? All right, so let's take this apple case stick now. And, <laughs> oh girl, I'm real, that's for sure. Bite me. <laughs> okay, all right, so here we go. So we're just going to take this stick. Hi. Cassandra, thank you for ordering from us so often. I really do appreciate you. Um, oh, for those of you guys don't know, you know, the store's not open, but we are still shipping daily. We go and, you know, get product, and it's being delivered here to the house now. We are taking every precaution we can. We are sanitizing everything. I don't know if that's necessary, but I figure it's it, it's not going to hurt. So you guys get an order from us. It is um, sanitized. We sprayed it down with Lysol. Um, and so if your labels are a little bit ripply, that's why. Because they got a little bit wet with the Lysol. Okay. 
but um, I don't know what else to do in order to just make sure we don't have the virus, but you know, it's, it goes from, anyways, we're doing our best to make sure that um, we do our part to get you guys clean, um, safe product, okay? So just know that if you guys are ordering from me or us, that is what's happening. So when you take this stick here and you rub it on here, let me get close up and I'm gonna show you what happens. You can tell when it starts to transfer. Do you see how that's like a light gray? And then here it's more of a black. So this has already been transferred to the can and then the black still needs to be rubbed. Um, so that is good. Annette, are you helping me? Yeah, well, and that's good. No, it doesn't affect the paint. It might make your label ripple if I get a little bit cuckoo and I spray the holy, <laughs> holy heck out of your label. Um, but you know what, who cares about your label, right? I mean, right now, what we want is for everybody to be safe. We don't want anything happening. And I'm not saying it would happen because the warehouse is taking those steps too. But um, I just want you guys to know, you know, I don't even know what to say. Never mind. Maybe I should have a mask on while we're having this conversation. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Yeah, it's a pretty cool transfer. I do have more coming too. So if you go to my website right now, you're going to find that there's a lot of things out of stock. Um, do not fret. I just made a pretty large order. Um, for me, I, I can't afford to order a ton of stuff, but I spent over a thousand dollars and for me, that's really, really big because we're very, very small and we're depending 100% on our online sales for everything to, to keep the business afloat, to um, feed our family, to keep our mortgage and our second mortgage and our two trucks and everything. So I did make another big order. Um, and now I'm just waiting for it to get here. So if you go there and you see something and it's out of stock, do not fret. It will be in stock. Um, but I am 100% relying on them to get it to me so I can upload it to the website so I can get it to you guys. So luckily I'm getting the hang of that website. <laughs> so it won't, make, it won't take me long to upload it. Um, but I have no control over how fast they send it to me um and i did place that order it's been three days now so you know hopefully i'll get it i don't know i don't know you know i i just know that everything's crazy right now with everybody so we all just have to be patient and kind and um you know not get rippled i all these small companies that we're dealing with we're, we're you know we're not amazon and um, you know, I wish we were, I wish I could give everybody immediate shipping and before, you know, I could because things were different, but right now everything's moving a little bit slower. Uh, wait, such a cute, oh, thank you. The apothecary one. I love doing that. If I could do that, like every day, I would do that like every day. Um, thank you, Kathy. Oh, Christy. Aw, thank you. You are so sweet. Thank you so, so, so very much. It makes me want to blush and like I get all, I get all weird because it feels uncomfortable, but I appreciate you so, so much. Um, is there a stamp like, yes, but is it, you know, I'd have to read, I would have to read them. I have to, I'm going to be honest. I haven't read them all, so I don't know, but there is the crockery stamps and there are a few of them. Um, that's probably bad of me, right? Probably bad of me. Oh, thank you, Lynn. You guys are so freaking awesome. How are you guys doing? I want, I always wanna look over here cause I can see over here. Over here, I'm like just a blur. Um, I am um, nearsighted and so, um, I, to me, I look like a, a blur and I can't see much going on over there, but I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. So if I keep looking over here, that's why, because I can, I 
you can see. Um, I put the camera over here, but then you'd only be able to see this portion of it. Okay, so let's see. So ah, I'm talking more than I'm um, rubbing, but you can see I got all those letters off on the bottom. You gotta kind of be patient a little bit and um, let the process do it. So when you start rubbing like this, now what you can do is grab, like get under here a little bit. I'm gonna hold this up a little bit. Can you see that? Now hold that up a little bit like that and start lifting a little as you go. And when the air gets trapped underneath there, it's gonna actually release it for you better. And I think I need to release my tape because I'm holding myself down. So full, dis full disclosure, this is the first time I've ever done it on metal. I'm not going to lie. So, oh, thank you, Mandy. You guys are, you guys are going to make me cry. I'm blushing like crazy. You can't see me. I have to change the camera angle here in a second. Um, so I have this huge project. I... This, um, one of my customers brought me two of her dressers to redo from her. And um, it's not a big deal. She wants them white with black tops, and that's not a big deal. The big deal is that they're so dirty. So dirty. Um, and not that she's dirty. It's that she's had them on her back porch for, like, years. They've been covered, but the dirt and the sand and the, you know, and, and so... Anyways, I've got a super duper lot of cleaning to do on those. And I think I'm going to put new tops on them for her because they're pressed wood. And I think that um, new like pine tops would be a lot better. Um, and it won't cost her much more money. I won't charge her labor or anything to do that. I, I Just the wood because I just think that it should be done. And I don't want her to make that decision to not have it done on the account of me charging her, you know, some crazy amount to put new tops on because, well, darn it, she plans on keeping them forever. She's had them on her back porch for years, so obviously she's emotionally attached to them. So, my next video, but I've got to take them out um, and sand the holy heck out of them because the paint is just chipping off like crazy, and I don't want to paint over chipping paint because you know I want my paint to adhere so we want a good surface to adhere to and then blow them out I'm gonna have to put a mask on and like put my hair up because they're all full of dust and dirt it's gonna be fun you guys excited no um what else have I been up to so those of you who follow my Facebook page will know that I have a love for um box turtles i have had quite a few and up until last year they were all living loose in my yard and everybody was doing great and i had my big beautiful girl she was probably this big and her name is sebastian and she would sit on my feet i mean the friendliest turtle in the world she'd come up to me to be fed i fed her mealworms i mean just a doll she would sit on my lap like, I loved this turtle. Love, love, love. And last spring, she didn't come back up. Um, and I was just devastated. Did she get out of my yard? Did she get lost? Did she die? You know, um, she was gifted to me. So I don't even know how old she was. She was probably pretty old. I don't know. You know, and just devastated. So... I also had four other turtles, not as attached, but I still like them, um, that didn't come up last year. So all I had was two hatchlings, and that was it. Well, those two hatchlings, I contained them. I said, okay, no more running loose. I'm going to put you in this one area, and that way I can keep you safe and know where you are. Well, about October... My daughter brought me another turtle, it was like this big, and said, Mom, you know, these, we have a lot of um, reservations around here, and some of the boys on the reservation were going to make like a, uh, a rattle. 
they were gonna make a rattle out of his shell. And my daughter came across him and rescued him from them before they killed him and made a rattle out of his shell. Um, but the key is, the, the, the catch here is that he should have already been hibernating, but he wasn't hibernating because these kids had him. So I kept him in the house all winter long in a box and he did like a semi hibernation. And um, anyway, so now it's warm enough. I built a huge turtle enclosure outside. I'm so excited. And when my other two babies come up, they're all going to be in a safe, safe, safe spot. And um, yeah, I'm pretty stoked. So what did I miss? Who did turtle tuts? I don't know if there's one in New Mexico either. I don't know. You do a lot. We understand my last time. We're getting it to you as fast as possible. I don't know, Lynn. I would love to do the turtles. And I guess that's kind of why I'm telling you guys about it. Because my channel is a painting channel. And I don't want... What I don't want is to lose subscribers. Because they're like... I don't care about your turtles. You know what I mean? And then they're, they're gone. Because... That's not what they signed up for. So I'm very afraid to um, post that progress and stuff here. It's like the experts say that you'll almost need to make a, um, a new channel to, to go that far out of like what we do here. We paint, we build, we, we recreate, we're DIYing. I'm, that's DIY. I mean, I did build the habitat, but it's still turtles. I could do a macrame video. You know what I actually did, Binky? I made a whole tutorial because um, I thought, okay, I could sell the whole kit, like the macrame, the beads, and show you exactly how to do it and how to fit it to any size pot. Um, and so it's a lot of variations. You know, you could put a big pot, a little pot, and, and then I deleted it. <laughs> but I did. So, yay, okay. We could do that, but we can't do it live because it takes like a half hour. Um, and I'm afraid that, you know, people get freaked out because, well, we're already running close to. Oh, okay, Mandy. So you guys are Mac me. You want me to do it live? Do you want a lot? You want a live on the dresser tops? Okay. You guys just have to hang out with me because a lot of people get really um, pissed off when lives are too long and they won't watch them, um, which takes our channel ratings down, which means that YouTube only shows us to like a percentage of the people instead of showing us to a lot of people. It's all these logistics and like analytics and anyways. Okay. I'm going to stop talking now. Um, oh, thank you. Hi, Vicki. Okay. So look how cool. Very cool. Now. If I was worried about this, I would seal it again with Big Top. But I'm not worried about it because um, I'm going to put fake flowers in it. So seriously, like what's going to happen to it? Nothing, right? So we have that. Now this one is already dry. Um, we could, if you guys want to see, I could seal this one with Apothecary right now. Or not Apothecary, with Big Top. So I would use Big Top. And seal this because a sealed surface is going to take your transfer easier. I feel like I've been talking way too much, so I'm going to stop. Okay, so just pretend. I'm going to take this, <laughs> this brush right here. Um, oh, Wendy, I couldn't even sit for that. And, and I, 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 God bless you if you can sit for one and a half hours, but I feel like... Um, <coughs> I just feel like everybody's time is too special for that. We need to shut, zip, zip, and paint, okay? So I would take this right here, and I would go ahead and seal this. Um, big top is awesome. It doesn't leave streaks. Just make sure you have enough on there so that it's solid. And um, it's really cool because you don't have to worry about overworking it. So you can actually lay it on pretty darn thick just don't make sh make sure you don't like wipe things running down you know wipe those up but lay it on there pretty thick and you will get a finish that is exactly like that um that's one of the coolest things about big top is because some clear coats are hell to work with absolutely hell. so let's put that there and then i'm going to go over here 
and I'm gonna grab some of this random floral that I have sitting on this chair because I haven't put it away. I was supposed to, but I didn't. All right, a florist I am not, so <laughs> I just grabbed you know, like a few of each kind. And let's bend these guys up. I have been told that you really should just put one kind in there and not, um, not mix them like I do. Again, not a florist. But, I don't know. I think it looks alright. A little wildflowery. A little, um... Okay, let's turn it this way. Let's get some purple in the front. Maybe it does look like crap, huh? <laughs> okay, alright. Let's... Do I have any more of these? No, we're going purple. Let's just get the purples. Purple, 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 purple. Okay. So these are all flowers that I have um, just for decor at the store. I mean, we sell them, but we don't sell a whole ton of them. Anyways, that's kind of pretty, right? I think it looks pretty. You like it? Okay. Cool, guys. So again, if you have any questions on how to finish this one, uh, oh, uh, thank you, thank you. I, you know what, guys? I'm just me. I mess up all, all the time. I think we all mess up all the time. The thing is, is that some people edit it out. I, um, no. Anyways, I'm, I'm just learning. I'm learning with you guys. And every day I learn something else. And I want to show you how to do it. And I'm probably going to mess up. But that's what makes it better. Is learning from our mistakes. That's that's how I learn. I don't know about you. but Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Alright guys. I think I should probably go. Just because of that. Um, if you are very sad that I didn't seal this. Please tell me in the comments after this video is over. Um, I could do it again with a different transfer. I don't want to disappoint anybody, but at the same time, I don't, you know, you know I'm worried about time. Okay? So, have a wonderful day. You guys stay safe, and um, we want to do a live. I was requested to do a live on replacing that top over there, right? That means you're going to have to move back and forth with me because I'm going to have to cut wood. I'm going to have to go back and forth and back and forth from the saw to the, are you cool with that? I hope you are. Hi, Justy. Oh, you guys are awesome. Okay. All right, you guys be good. And um, I will see you super soon. Thank you for supporting me. I love you guys so much. Um, okay, uh, I gotta walk over there. I can't even reach you. Okay. Night, guys. I will see you very soon.